I'd like to circle back to immigration, please. Uh, you, you just listed the reasons that people are coming, uh, talking about in-country problems, saying that it happens every year. You blamed the last administration. Sir, I just got back last night from a reporting trip to the border where I met nine-year-old Jose, who walked here from Honduras by himself, uh, along with another little boy. He had that Astounding. phone number on him, and we were able to call his family. His mother says that she sent her son to this country because she believes that you are not deporting unaccompanied minors like her son. That's why she sent him alone from Honduras. So, sir, you blame the last administration, but is your messaging in saying that these children are and will be allowed to stay in this country and work their way through this process, encouraging families like Joselle's to come? Well, look. The idea that I'm going to say, which I would never do, that if an unaccompanied child ends up at the border, we're just going to let him starve to death and stay on the other side. No previous administration did that either, except Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. That's why I've asked the Vice President of the United States yesterday to be the lead person on dealing with focusing on the fundamental reasons why people leave Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador in the first place.